Here we have a sad math question. There is a system of equation given here. If x comma y is the solution to the system of the equations above, what is the value of x positive y? Okay, in the given system, we have to find the value of x positive y. Okay, here, when I look at the second equation, it has been solved for y. So there is a y equals to 2 times uh, x negative 3. So I can plug in this 2 times x negative 3 for y into the first equation. So then I'll have first equation only in terms of variable x, I can solve for x. Once I get the value of x, I can plug in the value of x into the second equation to get the value of y. Once I get the value of uh, both the values of both x and y, I can get the value of uh, x positive y. Okay, now my uh, first work is uh, to plug in this 2 times x negative 3 for y into the first equation. So let me do it. So 2 times uh, x negative 3 over x equals to 0 0.5. Okay, so 2 times x negative 3 over x equals to this 0 0.5 can be written as a fraction that is 1 over 2. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply uh, both sides of the equation by 2x so that I'll be able to get rid of the denominator as x on the left side and 2 on the right side. So uh, let me multiply both sides of the equation uh, by 2x. When I do so, this x and x will cancel out. Here, this 2, 2 will cancel out. So 2 times 2 times uh, x negative 3 on the left side. On the right side, we have 1 times x is just x. So 2 times 2 is uh, 4. 4 times x negative 3 equals to x. Now we can distribute this 4 to x and negative 3. When I do so, I'm getting 4x negative 12 equals to x. Okay, now I subtract x from both sides. When I do so, this positive x and negative x will cancel out. I'm getting 3x negative 12 on the right side. Okay, now I'm adding 12 to both sides. When I do so, I'm getting, uh, so 3x equals to 12 because it's negative 12, positive 12 will cancel out. Now to solve for x, I divide both sides by 3. When I do so, this 3, 3 will cancel out. 3 goes into 3 one times, 3 goes into 12 four times. I'm getting x equals to 4. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in x equals to 4 into the second equation over here to get the value of y. So we get 2 times uh, for this x, we can plug in 4, uh, 4, negative 3 equals to y. So 2 times uh, when I subtract 3 from 4, I'm getting 1 equals to y. So 2 times 1 is equal to, 2 times 1 is 2. So 2 equals to y. I got the value of y. y equals to 2. Already I got the value of x, that is 4. Okay, but our aim is to find the value of uh, x positive y. So we can plug in 4 for x and uh, 2 for y. So finally, I'm getting x positive y equals to 6. So I find 6 in option C. The correct answer choice for this question is option C.